everyone, my name is Irene and I'm a CSUMB service learner here at the Monterey County Free Libraries. Today I'm going to be talking about unit conversions. In unit conversion problems, you're going to be asked to convert from one unit to another. For example, inches to miles or grams to moles in chemistry. So today I will be teaching you all how to set up unit conversion problems and we will be going over some together at the end for extra practice. Unit conversions. We do them a lot more than we think we do. For example, let's say you're looking at a sizing chart online and it lists the waist in centimeters, but you can't really conceptualize the measurement as well because you're more familiar with inches to measure things because you're from a place that uses the imperial system of units like the United States. What do you do? You go to Google and convert centimeters to inches. Same thing if you're looking at a piece of furniture and the dimensions listed are in centimeters and you want them in inches or feet instead. What we're doing today is just that except we're writing out the entire process instead of plugging it into an online unit converter calculator. In unit conversion problems, you want to multiply your starting units by the units that you want over the starting unit. So this is what it ends up looking like. And the second part here, that is called the conversion factor or the conversion ratio. This ratio is equal to one, and what we use to get from one unit to another. Sometimes we're gonna need more than one conversion ratio to solve the problem, because leaping from one unit to another is not as clear cut and easy. This is when we start employing linking units, which takes on the form at the bottom. This is sandwiched between the units we have and the units we want, and it may be way longer than this, but don't get overwhelmed by that because we're following the same process whether it's a single step or a multi-step conversion. The latter is just a bit more tedious. A useful thing to keep in mind when you're working on unit conversion problems is how to multiply fractions. So you're going to multiply straight across. Multiply the numerators, then multiply the denominators. There is no cross multiplication here. So just remember, multiply straight across. Now we're just going to do some example problems together. Problem number one. Nina logged 1,035 minutes in her reading log. How many hours has she read? The first thing you want to do before anything is writing out what you have and what you want. This is especially helpful when you're doing multi-step conversions, but it's always good to get into the habit of doing it, even for the single-step ones. So we know that we want to go from minutes to hours, but can we come up with a conversion ratio that can help us solve this problem? And if you were thinking that the conversion ratio would be 60 minutes equals an hour, then you'd be correct. Now all we have to do is just put this back into the unit conversion setup. This is what it looks like when we plug everything in. So all that's left for us to do is just multiply and simplify. And when doing unit conversion problems, it's highly encouraged that you cancel out the units as you go. So at the end, we're left with 1,035 over 60 hours. And if you just divide that, you're going to be left with 17.25 hours. Problem number two. Sasha wants to go to the MCFL Marina branch. As she is planning her trip, she realizes that it's about 5.3 miles away from her starting point, the CSUMB library. How many feet away is the MCFL Marina branch? So we know that we want to go from miles to feet, and we're starting with 5.3 miles, and that one mile is equal to 5,280 feet. This last one, we might not know at the top of our heads, but in your classes, you might be given a sheet that has these basic conversions written out, but sometimes you may be asked to memorize them, so this is an important one to keep in mind. And this is how it's gonna be set up. So now all we have to do is just multiply across, but remember to always cancel out your units. So 5.3 times 5,280 feet. That is gonna come out to 27,984 feet. Problem number three is going to require us to do multi-step conversions. Tom is looking for a large square picture frame online. 
He finds one with a design he loves, but he's not sure it'll fit his 4x4 foot painting. The dimensions listed are 130 by 130 centimeters. Will his painting fit? And when we write down our knowns, this is what we have. So, 130 centimeters. That's what we're starting with. Is it bigger or smaller than 4 feet? And 1 centimeter. That is equal to 0.394 inches. And our plan for this problem is going to be that we're going to go from centimeters to inches to feet. Our final answer is 4.26 feet. This is a little bit bigger than four feet, so Tom is gonna have to find a new frame. That is going to be it for this video. I hope that this left you more confident and comfortable in your ability to tackle unit conversion problems. Thank you for following along.